Good morning and a very warm welcome to this act of worship. Today we continue to think about what the kingdom of God is like. Uh, I'm going to be looking at another of the stories that Jesus tells. Last week, if you remember, we looked at the parable, the story that Jesus told of the mustard seed, which was the smallest of garden seeds, but it grows into the largest of garden plants, uh, he said. Today we're going to be looking at another story that Jesus tells of a man who, who finds treasure uh, in a field uh, and we're going to be thinking a little bit about that. I'm going to just begin with a prayer. Um, if you want to make this prayer your prayer you can join in at the end by saying Amen uh, and Amen simply means I agree and we'll say it softly, medium and loud. Um, so let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for this beautiful morning. We thank you for the birds as they are singing, the sun as it is breaking through the trees and the clouds. Lord, we thank you for your presence with us. We pray that as we explore your kingdom, you would help us to understand uh, and to long for more of your kingdom in our lives and in our hearts. Come, Lord Jesus, and be with us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So today we are looking at the parable uh, of the hidden treasure. Now, the, I'm going to begin by reading to you uh, the passage from the Bible. The, the passage is fairly short, so what I've also got is another clip for you to be able to look at. Uh, in that clip, it's not going to have any words. Uh, it's simply going to go through the story as I read to you now. As you, you hear it, see if you can remember uh, the words that go along with uh, the video that is played. Uh, in uh, a few moments. So I'm going to just read you the parable and then I'm going to play for you uh, a clip. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought the field. Let's watch that clip. So as you watch that clip, did you remember the story that Jesus told? It was very short. I'm, I'm sure you all would have. Um, just in case, I'm going to read it again. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. And then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought the field. And that reading is taken from Matthew chapter 13, verses 44 uh, or verse 44, in fact, just the one verse. Now, I wonder why Jesus describes the kingdom of God like a treasure hidden in a field. Take a moment to talk amongst yourselves, uh, to stop this, pause this where we are at now. And why does Jesus describe the kingdom of God like a treasure hidden in the field? <laughs>
When I was looking at the story, I was reminded of a time when I was much younger. Um, and I, how old would I be? Probably about 12 years old, uh, something like that, uh, 11 years old. Um, I wanted to get a wetsuit. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't uh, get any pocket money. The only money that I ever got uh, was birthday and Christmas. So even though I started saving uh, to buy a, a wetsuit, uh, the money that I generally saved was money that I sometimes found in the street. Um, sometimes uh, was, was given a bit of change. Um, but uh, it wasn't really enough to buy a, a wetsuit. And so I remember for a good year I tried saving for a wetsuit and still being far, far too short uh, in, in terms of money that I'd saved in order to buy it. Um, and I actually began thinking of things I could sell. So I would take a bicycle pump, for instance, to school and try to sell it because I didn't feel I needed that anymore. Um, but uh, again, I didn't generate very much money. Here, Jesus describes the kingdom of God like a treasure that is hidden in a field. Uh, and a man who finds it, he goes away, he goes and buries that treasure again, he goes away, sells everything he has, and he comes back to, to buy that field so that he can make the treasure his. Actually, the man sells everything he has. He doesn't just go and sell a bicycle pump, as I did. He doesn't just go and uh, uh, see how little he can give away uh, in order to buy the field, but he sells everything he has. You'll remember there was a, a car driving off with a trailer full of goods in the clip you saw. He sold everything. He sold his house, his car, his bicycle. Uh, his tennis rackets, he sold everything. Uh, and maybe Jesus is trying to communicate just how precious the kingdom of God is, that there is nothing that isn't worth giving up in order to grab a hold of it. There's nothing worth hanging on to that is as important as the kingdom of God. If ever you see it or glimpse it, grab a hold of it, seek it out. Do anything and everything you can to encounter and to know it, to know the kingdom of God. It is interesting that it says that he doesn't do that begrudgingly. He doesn't do that with a heavy heart. Like, oh, I'm going to have to sell everything I've got in order to do it. But it also says that he went in his joy. The man was happy to do it. He went in his joy and sold all he had. He, he was really happy to be able to encounter and to know God's kingdom. And he was pleased to be able to sell everything he had. It, it tells us that this man found something that was much more important, much more precious, better than anything else he had ever seen. And as a result, he owns, he buys that field, and then that treasure is his. There is nothing more important than grabbing hold of God's kingdom. That's what Jesus is saying. And it's worthwhile giving up everything you've got in order to grab a hold of it. There's nothing more important than encountering God's kingdom. I'm going to end with a prayer. If you want to make this prayer your prayer, uh, do join again with me in the words, Amen, at the end. Lord God, we do thank you for the kingdom of God. We thank you that it is like a, a hidden treasure that is so valuable that actually you call us to give up everything in order to encounter, to grab a hold of you, to make you ours. Lord, we pray that you would help us, each one of us today, to encounter your kingdom to grab a hold of it and to make it ours, that our hearts would be open to meet with you and to walk with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Going to end with a song, a fairly well-known song. It's Seek Ye First, the Kingdom of God. So be blessed and have a great day.
opened unto 